Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by, Scared of Me, 1111, it's your girl Stardust, 1111 here, to do your forecast, love, and finance reading for the sign of Leo for September 2019. Leo is a fire sign, so this reading may also resonate with the Aries or um, Sagittarius as well, as fire is your element, my lovelies. Thanks to everyone who's been liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube channel, sharing my videos, all my new subscribers. You guys are so awesome. Thank you all so much. You're so legit, and it's really appreciated. Thank you so, 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 so much. All right, so um, you guys are welcome to reverse the gender scheme in my tarot card readings. So my readings are gender neutral, and kings can be queens, and vice versa. Tarot is timeless. I'd like to tell you guys that these are events that have already happened, that are currently taking place, or that will happen for you all here in the near future, or should I say for some of you here in the near future, all right? All right, so um, the information will be down below of how to reach me for that personal private reading. For those of you who need that, look into the, the situation, and um, these readings will have extended readings over at Vimeo. I will have the link down below. In the description box, you guys are welcome to go over there and purchase my extended readings to get your full message from Spirit. Thank you. All right, Spirit, if you will, give me some cards for the lovely, awesome fire sign of Leo for September 2019. For Leo, September 2019, Spirit, thank you. Really happy to be getting into these extended, just a little more work, um, but it's really awesome. Growing, building my dream. Thank you all so much. You guys are so legit. Thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. All right, so without further ado, guys, I thought I'd use my purple cards today because I got my purple background and purple nails. Why not? <laughs> all right, lovelies. We can get some cards out here for the lovely sign of Leo. It's Leo season, baby. So, yes, I'm starting September off with Leo. Ooh, King of Cups. Somebody is in love with the Leo. King of Cups here, Six of Cups. We start off with water energy, strong water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Eight of Cups. You guys saw how I just showed up. There's just no way. Ah, the sun, Leo, you're here. You showed like the sun, right? Beautiful as you are. All right, so King of Cups here. You have your King of Cups here. You have a very nurturing, loving, caring person. Your King of Cups is probably someone who volunteers, definitely works in the healthcare field, be it mental, mental or physical health. Um, your King of Cups is loving, nurturing, a provider, a great, awesome father, and awesome lover. Um, this King of Cups is very much so in love with you, whether this is you, Leo, or your person. You have very, very strong, compatible love energy here. Some of those of you that are watching, your person loves you. Your King of Cups, the first card came right out for you guys. Six of Cups, um, nostalgia, right? Reminiscing from the past, remembering those beautiful memories. Um, someone from your past is coming back um, for reconciliation to you, Leo. This could be your King of Cups. For some of you, you dealt with the water sign in the past, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And this person is, or you, um, are having very fond memories of your person. And um, it's definitely coming back into the picture with that Six of Cups type of energy. That's reconciliation. So let's get more into your reading to find out. Um, Eight of Cups. This is about um, walking away from people, places, or things that no longer serve you. But um, it may be seemingly a really good situation to those on the outside looking in. But it's not what fulfills you at this present point in your life, Leo. The Eight of Cups energy... Um, Sometimes it depicts the moon here, but it's not in this card, but um, it's about following your heart. It's about going to something that you feel will be more beneficial to you, more emotionally satisfying to you because you're tired of the mundane, you're tired of the routine, you're tired of things that are just happening right now. Um, the nine to five, the same consistent thing every day after work, it's not serving you, be it love, be it work, something in your life, you're just like, there has to be more to life than this. This just can't be it can't and you're in search of that right now you're soul searching so to speak with the eight of cups energy because you're definitely walking away from something or your person who's left you in the past who's walked away from you in the past that water sign okay or someone who's very much in love with you from your past who's thinking about you reminiscent of you this person walked away from you or you walked away from your person um and you have your page of pentacles okay coming your way the page of pentacles is um you know, this is like your scholar, this page of pentacles is very green, like in his career, 
um, but it's bringing you a message of like this too is something tangible that you can hold so someone from your past is going to show up this could be a younger person for some of you or you have this message coming via text message email um if you get that message on your hip like and it was a bug down or pocket down so they say that's not the case your person is thinking about you your person wants you is in love with you and your page falls right above that king of cups so your king of cups is wanting to come to you is that page of pentacles with that very green very young very innocent honest type of love because when you go into your six of cup energy you just have that love from the past that divine love back when we were children spirit could be reminding some of you that the best days of our lives were lived before we had bills responsibilities and obligations before you know we had to stick up our butt before we were running the rat race of the nine five some of you are not happy in your day-to-day -day life and your struggles some of you um don't appreciate the situation that you have because it doesn't serve you it's not about being selfish, it's about following your heart and what's in your heart, what's good for you, um, Leo. You have your own energy here. The sun card is here. That's Leo energy. And it's about, yes, all is well where the sun is out. The sun is about bringing things to fruition. It's about illuminating things. The sun is our life source, right? So anything that the sun touches, it gives life to. It gives new meanings. It's about birthing. It's about beautiful beginnings. It's about beautiful things to come. It's about anything you want, you can have it. As long as the as sure as the sun shines, right? As sure as you breathe, as sure as you are woken up every morning to enter into a new day of consciousness, that is possible for you, that that you want when you follow your heart. Seven of Swords. You have this in your reading right before this one, the one that I chucked out. Decided not to keep it. Um, so your Seven of Swords energy, like I say, you could be dealing with a um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This person is being deceiving, manipulating. It's someone who could be stealing from you. Um, and some of you is just maybe tired of a relationship or situation with the person that you've been creeping with, right? Someone you're not even supposed to be with. Someone you're not supposed to be dealing with, you're not supposed to be with. Someone from your past, someone very close to some of you. Um, maybe your relatives. A boyfriend or just someone that you know you have no business dealing with and um, that seven of swords energy is here that deception that deceit that manipulating energy is here it's like your son it's it, it, it the sun it comes before your seven of swords so this is gonna come to pass this is gonna come to the light for those of you who have this down low situation um, the sun is out it's going to be found out all right it's gonna be illuminated and it's gonna come at a time that um, it's going to cause people to maybe walk away from you. You walk away from people that don't serve you. Just remember to stay in your energy, to stay true to yourself, and to follow your inner voice, right? It's going to lead you to where you need to be for your situation. Don't forget, if you need that extended reading to get in contact with me, my information is down below in the description box, right? So, Spirit, we can clarify the Seven of Swords energy, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Cups for the lovely sign. Leo for September 2019, my lovelies. Okay. Clarify, clarify, clarifying. All right. So we got Seven of Cups here. So your Seven of Cups is about delusions. Um, a person or someone in your life can have options. Um, is in a situation in their mind space. Your person sees um the situation is maybe being delusional for some to think that this situation has been being hid that uh has probably been going on for quite a while someone wants to come out with this is thinking about the past is thinking about moments that you had to walk away and give up and now you are just literally um being really delusional about the situation having false hopes and um beliefs and dreams that it can work when that may not be the plans the universe has for you um six of wands victory someone wants a victory with their person you have six of wands here this is about victory um this is about winning basically um it can also be a courtship card it could be a marriage card depending on the way the spread fell but it's not here um spirit what do we want the leos to, um, to know about their victory card seven of pentacles guys you have three sevens here you have synchronicity seven 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 of Swords, Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Your Seven of Pentacles here is about progress, you know? Seven of Pentacles is about progress, making progress, making good use of the things that 
that you have going on in your life, okay, what you have going on for you, what you are creating and manifesting to your experience, making it count, not wasting time, just being available, knowing that it's here, knowing that it could do better, but at this time is for reflection what can you do to continue to be abundant to continue for these great things to be in your life to continue to manifest it's like you never get to eat the fruit the day you plant the seed right so it's a waiting period here this is a waiting period for some of you you're impatient about this waiting period some of you want it like now and all these clocks are here and they're bent and they're folded and they're twisted and then the universe is like no matter what you try to do to interfere with this process to try to intervene and make things work out in your favor on your time and that's not the way the universe operates you have to let go and have hope and have faith and the sun is out it's like have hope and faith things will work out um, and the universe could be putting you in a position where you're being tested right now 777 google that google's your best friend what does that mean for you i see these numbers every day 20 30 maybe more times a day along with the eights that i love so much the abundance angel and the luck angel what i found out is that um for me it just means I'm on the right path, but, um, divine guidance, divine time, divine blessings, financial abundance, things that I know I'm stepping into. My vibration is being raised so that I can elevate there and meet and match that energy. But during the time that you don't see that in your physical experience, it's a time to have faith because faith is about believing in things that are not seen. Some people are like, oh, you have to have it all together first. You have to have your ducks in a row. If you're waiting to have your ducks in a row, honey, you're never gonna cross the street. Sometimes you just have to go for it. Let go and let the universe. And more than that, trust the process. Seven of Pentacles. You're being too impatient about your situation. And the universe is telling you, 777, seven, seven, you're on your way, you're on the right path. Now I'm gonna need you to step back and have faith and let the angels do their work. Let the universe do their work for you. Life is... <laughs> you're not happening to life it's happening to you so how you deal with it how you perceive the things that are going on with, makes all the difference for you uh, i'm gonna pull one more card and go right on over to vimeo for the extended reading for this and um get you some outcome cards and um see what's going on for you Leo, over there spirit wants to end with six of pentacles reciprocity you have synchronicity all over six and six right um i need to tell you that sevens are about change they're about um transformation and for change so for some of you you're heading into this energy here of um a change and abundance like um you don't eat the fruit the same day you plant the seed and what you need to do is have faith have faith and continue to nurture those seeds, continue to water them, continue to build on them, and never let go of your faith. Thank you so much, guys. Um, don't forget the links down below for Vimeo. Join me over there for the extended um, version of this reading. Thank you all so much. And I'm going to say.